sorry. Sorry. What's going on here? Excuse me. What's going on here? You have to go to our press officer on the show. Are you setting up for the asylum seekers? He took a note to defend this country, not allow it to be invaded. Do you want to do this? Did you take a note to defend this country or to allow it to be invaded? Look, setting up here now. The Irish Defence Forces. Excuse me. Excuse me. Did you take a note to defend this country or to allow it to be invaded by unvetted military aged men? What's up? Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell up above for future uploads and check out the links posted in the description down below as part of the channel. Thank you. The video you've just seen allegedly comes from Mullingar Barracks. First of all, I want to say I commend the woman who has taken this video and has asked the questions that would be on the lips of many people when they see something like this occurring in front of them. It's very brave of her to do so. And I think secondly, I wanted to say, citizen journalism is incredibly important these days, as you can understand. When you see a video like that, when you see someone in uniform that is supposed to be serving Ireland, refusing to answer questions asked by an Irish woman about what is going on, and fobbing her off to the press office, that should ring alarm bells in your head. Why am I showing you this image? Well, I'm going to explain that now in a few moments along with the two subsequent images that I have. But before that, I want to say this. Here is the oath for the Defence Force. I, name, do solemnly swear that I will be faithful to Ireland and loyal to the Constitution, and that while I'm an officer of the Permanent Defence Force, I will obey all lawful orders issued to me by my superior officers and will not join or be a member of or subscribe to any political organisation or society or any secret society whatsoever. Now obviously the latter part of that then has gone completely out the window as you can see in that video in my view. But importantly is what comes first in that out. Ireland and the constitution. What I think has been forgotten with an awful lot of people these days is they put on a uniform and think that the person above them is the be all and end all. That is not the case. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain that to you through media. Here we have an image of Commander Cody, a clown trooper, in Star Wars in the prequels. There's a very big reason as to why these prequels were not received well by critics, because it pointed out an awful lot about what was to come. The Emperor gains the army in Episode 2, and in Episode 3 he turns the clown troopers on, the Jedi. Good soldiers follow orders, eh? These are clown troopers that were fighting with the Jedi over a course of years and just turned on them on a whim because some dude said, you best do that. How about that? Moving on, I'm sure an awful lot of these people in the Defence Forces would have been very interested in this movie, Top Gun Maverick. What are those two Top Gun movies about? They're about a man doing the right thing, disobeying orders from people above him. Nonsensical orders. And end up coming out looking like a hero. I'm sure these people in uniform went to see this and cheered it, whooped and hollered I'm sure, and thought that they were a bit of a Pete Maverick themselves. But which are you? Are you Pete Maverick or are you a clown trooper? And the last image I wanted to show you was this one, a bug's life. The grasshoppers like to roll into town and tell the ants what to do and how to do it. The grasshoppers are those in charge, but by the end of the movie, the ants realise that the grasshoppers have no power because the ants are many and the grasshoppers are few. So I think it would serve people best to realise that and to remember that. And ultimately to remember that you are serving your country and the constitution. And no matter how many times you may try and say it, nobody buys the old excuse of, I was just following orders, I was just doing my job. 
I was just concerned about the ones and zeros in my bank account. The large majority of the population of Ireland disagree with what you were doing and how you were doing it. I hope that this will get through to a number of people because it is my hope that the brothers and sisters here in Ireland will stand up and will start being counted. I hope you liked this video. Make sure you share. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell up above for notifications going forward. Check out the links posted in the description down below to support our channel. And I'll talk to you later. Good luck.